I met Tracy probably in 1999 when I was asked by my then manager to, to join NAOP. Tracy was just a very large figure from an icon standpoint that, that somebody you could look up to. But Tracy is also very approachable and he was always very kind to me. When I first met Tracy, he was a very established real estate professional that I looked up to and that is, this is some guy that I'd really like to get to meet and to know because he was a player in this market and in this community. So it was fun to be able to see him from a, uh, a new person to now and eventually work shoulder to shoulder with him to really see the kind of talent and thinking and the thought process that he brought to this program. I met Tracy through the Real Estate Challenge Committee and my first impression was just his big laugh. He's just a larger than life, was a larger than life kind of guy and he was really fun to be around. I have been NAOP Colorado's executive director for 23 years and Tracy Wilkes was the first president that I worked with. You know, it's funny, I came on staff about two months into Tracy's year as president and he and I joked later that I always thought in that first year that he hated me. And when I finally got the courage a couple of years later to ask him, he said, no, I didn't hate you. I just didn't know you and I didn't want you to ruin my year as president. Tracy was magnetic. He was wicked smart, but he was super ornery. <laughs> he never missed an opportunity to give me a hard time, which I greatly appreciated about him. First of all, he was always happy and jolly. And second of all, he would always speak his mind. And sometimes it wasn't what you wanted to hear necessarily, but it was always um, something that was constructive and you could learn from and think about. He was outgoing, a life of the party, and like one of the most gregarious kind of people I had ever met. The one thing I really remember about watching Tracy come to the meetings, and that is he would drive up in his convertible Corvette. Just a class act from day one. And very much uh, we would have an opportunity to have a work session but with a, with, a, with a glass of Cabernet that just would kill. So that is how I think about Tracy, and that is a zest for life. And that's not to be cliche, but he truly understood it, and he represented that. When I first started with Tracy, um, we only had about 200 members. And I really believe that his formalization of the structure is what launched NAOP to be what it is now. One of Tracy's biggest legacy items was uh, creating the Rocky Mountain Real Estate Challenge 20 years ago. I think he would probably call creating the Rocky Mountain Real Estate Challenge one of the crowning you know, achievements of his career. And so I, I would really want people just to know how much he cared about the challenge and NAOP as a whole. Tracy's involvement in bringing the Real Estate Challenge to Colorado was a multi-year process. Tracy just kept pushing and saying, we need to do this. This is going to help us with our outreach to the future generations who will be us when we decide that it's time to retire and go do whatever we want to do in that life. Um, we need that pipeline to replace us and this is the way to do it. Well I see Tracy's role throughout the years with the challenge of continually coming to the table not because he had to, but because he understood the value of the program on both sides of the table, both for the students as well as for the sponsors. And he knew what was good for the real estate community as a whole and how important the challenge is as far as one of those stepping stones. So he got it, he saw that. And as I participate further in the challenge each and every year, I see a little bit more about what Tracy was thinking about, a little bit more of a aha Tracy moment. Tracy was passionate about the real estate challenge because I think he wanted the next generation of real estate professional to, to be uh, thoughtful about how they approach the real estate industry. And that's across the whole spectrum. His heart was really the academic side of this and how this would benefit our region by helping the next real estate professional coming out of these schools. 
He was so passionate about the Real Estate Challenge because of what it gave back to the community, what it gave back to the students. Tracy was fundamental to the challenge. And I think that needs to be said again. Tracy was fundamental to the challenge in that without him, we would not have the challenge. We would not be where we were, where we are today. The, Cal the Colorado program has grown to be fundamentally the largest, most successful real estate challenge in the country. Yes, it has certain uh, references to various programs throughout the country, but we have taken that and through Tracy's guidance and vision, taken that up a notch and set the bar our, to our own height. Tracy not only pushed to get the program in place, but he was there on the committee for years and years and years. And he helped then establish what we now have as the vision committee, which is looking to the future for the real estate challenge and how are we gonna continue to make it bigger and better for the students and for the chapter. With the 20th anniversary of the Real Estate Challenge and now moving forward, calling the Real Estate Challenge the Wilkes Cup, I think is just a profound way to continue Tracy's legacy of passion and really showing what this means to the industry moving forward. What a great way to honor an amazing man who brought this program forward and then invested of himself heavily to make sure that it became what it is today. And it will absolutely influence now how it moves forward in the future. So the Wilkes Cup is a legacy worth naming after Tracy Wilkes. I think it's so important that we are naming the trophy the Wilkes Cup. Tracy gave so much to this organization and it's great to give back to him. I think Tracy would chuckle at the fact that the cup has been named the Tracy Wilkes Cup because as many people know, Tracy was Canadian and a huge hockey fan. Um, so for him to think that um, the Real Estate Challenge Cup would be the Wilkes Cup, um, sort of along the same lines as the Stanley Cup. Um, I think at first he'd be a little embarrassed um, because he never wanted to, you know, be in the limelight. Um, but I think secretly he'd be um, very, very happy. I'm just so glad that uh, I could call him a friend. And I'm so glad that he's uh, a part of this real estate challenge and and will live on, uh, his memory will live on uh, for as long as we do the challenge. There is no other name for this challenge other than the Tracy Wilkes Cup. Drop the mic. <laughs>